When we invest or borrow money into companies such as banks, we often pay or accrue interest respectively. In this video, I'm going to go through how we calculate simple interest and use the simple interest formula. So, let's begin. To calculate simple interest, we use the formula that we have represented here, where the interest is equal to the principal multiplied by the rate multiplied by time. Now, we can represent this formula as I is equal to the P for principal multiplied by the R for rate multiplied by the T for time. So let's start breaking down some of these terms. The principal here is how much money was initially invested or borrowed. The interest is how much money above the principal that has accrued over a period of time. The rate, which can be referred to as interest rate, is the percentage that the interest is being accrued by, and time is how long the interest has been accrued for. Now, this time is always measured in years. If a problem presents itself that the units is not in years, we have to first convert these units to years as our first step. So let's take a look at how we might use this formula. Suppose that I decide that I'd like to borrow $10,000 from the bank to help purchase a new car. I decide to borrow this amount with a simple interest account that has an interest rate of 12% per annum. How much would I have to pay in interest if I paid it off in three years time? Well, to tackle this sort of problem, I always like to start by recording the interest formula or the simple interest formula, which is I equals P R T. From here, I like to record the information that I've been given. So let's start with I or my interest. Now here, I would like to know how much interest I would have to pay. So I actually don't know the interest, so I put a little question mark here. The P stands for principal. Now my principal is the starting amount that I borrowed here. So that starting amount is $10,000. So I record that. Now the R stands for rate or interest rate. Now in this case the interest rate is 12% per annum. So I record that as 12%, but we need to be careful at this point. If we use the interest rate within this formula, we have to convert it to a decimal first. So 12% as a decimal is 0.12. Finally, time is equal in this problem to three years. We do have to make sure that the units is in years. Here it already is, so we leave it as it is. Now, what I do is I substitute these values back into the formula that I've been given. So my I, I don't know. So I leave it as just I. The P is 10,000. So I put that into the formula. The R is 0 0.12. And the T is gonna be three years. Now at this point, I could get a calculator out to solve this. However, I know that 3 times 12 is 36, so this is going to be 0 0.36. Then I move the decimal place 4 times because I'm timesing by 10,000. So that's going to be uh, equal to 3600. I need to include my units, which will be dollars, and I need to indicate that I have found the final answer by putting therefore. So therefore, if I take three years to pay back this $10,000 loan, I'll essentially pay an extra $3,600 on top of my loan. So in this question here, where it's asking me how much will I pay in total if I paid it fully back, I need to take this interest amount and add it together with the principal. So the total that I'll pay, which I'll indicate as total here, will be our principal of $10,000 plus our interest of $3,600.
Now, together, that means that the total will be $13,600. Now I've showed you that, I've created a problem here for you to pause and practice where the interest is payable yearly. However, the interest is not always payable yearly. So if we look at our next problem, we find that Jeff borrows $30,000 to set up a business. He repaid it over three years and nine months after paying 16% per annum in interest that's payable quarterly. We want to know how much does Jeff pay in interest each quarter, but also what is the total amount of money that he repaid. Now let's focus on this first part where we're looking at how much interest did he pay quarterly. Let's start by writing our formula down where I is equal to PRT. Now let's find our information. I or the interest we don't have. P or the principal is $30,000. R or the rate or interest rate is going to be 16% per annum, uh, which is equal to 0.16 as a decimal. Now the time is a little bit different in this problem. Because we're looking at how much did he pay quarterly or how much did he pay each quarter, we're only looking at one quarter of the year. Now one quarter of the year is going to be equal to three months. To work out that in years, we need to divide that by 12 because there's 12 months in the year. Now we can simplify this fraction to be one out of four years. So now we substitute these values back into our formula. So we don't have I, so we leave it as I. We do have the principal, which is 30,000. We have the rate, which is 0 0.16. And we have the time, which is 1 over 4. Now to solve this, we can bring in our calculator if we wish. Where we enter our 30,000, we multiply that by 0.16, we multiply that by a quarter or 0.25 in decimal version, and we find that our answer is equal to 1,200. Therefore, the interest that they pay quarterly is going to be $1,200. Now to answer the next question, what was the total amount of money that he repaid? Well, it's really important to understand that this interest amount, the $1,200, is how much interest he's accruing each and every quarter. So that means he's accruing $1,200 interest every three months. So in order to work out how much total interest he would pay in that time, we first have to work out how many quarters are in three years and nine months. To do that, we work out three years and nine months, how many months are in that? Well, three lots of 12 are gonna be 36 months, plus the nine is equal to 45 months. Now, to get this uh, into quarters, we need to divide the 45 by three months each, which I've represented in fractional form, which goes perfectly 15 times. So there's 15 quarters in three years and nine months. Now, to work out the total interest that he's going to need to pay, we need to take that 15 quarters and multiply it by how much interest he's going to accrue each quarter. So that's 15 times $1,200. Therefore, the total interest in this problem is going to be $1,200 times 15, which we can find by going 12 times 15, is 180. Carry the two zeros, so it's going to be $18,000 in interest that he's paying. However, to find out the total amount that he owes, we need to add the interest of $18,000 plus the principal that he started with of $30,000. So therefore, 
the total amount that he'll need to pay is equal to $48,000. So now it's your turn. I've come up with another problem here for you to have a go at yourself where the interest rate is now going to be payable every six months. We treat this in the same way that we treat the quarterly sort of problems. 